Welcome to our MA3 version 1.9 update video. We are very happy to announce that we now fully support this latest MA3 version. And as you can see, we are already using it here right now. In our new version of the show file, all the known bugs like the store override issue or the non-responsive behavior of our layout views are gone. Apart from that, we have also worked out some small new feature updates, which we want to introduce to you in this video. To take advantage of all this, please make sure that you are using our show file version 1.2.6 or higher. The first thing we want to show you is the usage of the new note function in MA3. So to uh, move on with this, let's bring out capture and head on to the macro section. Within the new MA3 version 1.9, it is now possible to add small notes to every element uh, of the show file. This is always indicated by this little notepad icon on the top right corner of an element. And we are now using this function to bring you some useful tips and more information directly in the show file. For example, we've added a short note in our master macro and you can access this simply, for example, by the label dialog. Here we have noted uh, the three basic steps that are needed before you should trigger uh, this master macro. And we will continue to expand this function in the future and add corresponding notes for all the important elements uh, in our show file. And as you can see, there are already some notes existing for some functions in the show file. To provide you even further information on our show file, there is a manual available from now on. In this manual, we have tried to describe all the important steps and parts of the show file. However, please understand that we are not able to fully describe every part of the show file immediately. We will therefore gradually add relevant information and instructions in the future. And we will also try to go a bit more into detail about uh, some special features of the show file and also some working mechanisms in the background and add this step by step. You can access the manual uh, on our website and find a corresponding download manual button right there. Please note that we also uh, list the latest tested MA3 version uh, always on our website like you can see here. And you should always check for this version to be sure that our show file is fully compatible with the version you want to use. After this short trip to the manual, let's switch back to MA3 and take a look at one new key element of the show file update. With the new update, there is an auto positioning function or position cheat function integrated into the show file. With this, you can easily create some basic looks if you don't have any time or if you're not in the mood for that. So to find this, head over to the macro pool of a fixture category and then you will find this new added macros here. There is always one new main macro, which is called auto pause and then some individual macros for the individual positions on the right side of it. Those macros can directly create the position presets for you after you have set up the first two position presets. Uh, those uh, first two position presets are really important because they are used as a starting point and they will provide the tilt values for the other positions. To show you that this function works quite well, uh, let's delete the presets that can be created automatically. So let's simply clear them. And for sure, please note that those last two positions cannot be created automatically because they are intended to be used as some kind of special positions, uh, one for ambient lighting and the other one for your audience blind. So after this, let's bring back in capture and uh, see how it works. As already described, uh, the first thing we have to do is to adapt uh, those two uh, presets. They are both called straight, which uh, should remind you that we need a straight position for them. So no pen value involved here. They're simply looking in a straight way uh, towards your stage or towards your audience. And there's one called down and one called up. The down position is there for a look where your fixtures are most likely just hitting the stage. 
and the up version of it should be a look where uh, some of your fixtures or even all of your fixtures are um, set up more towards your audience with an increased tilt value to create a uh, bigger and more impactful looks so let us now build up uh, those two basic uh, position presets um, let us use this as a starting point um, and for our straight down look we will yeah bring them even a bit further to hit the stage uh, evenly spread it and for our flaw set we will uh, yeah adapt the tilt value also a bit more to bring them yeah more in maybe like this so this looks good i think so let us store this and for our straight up position we will also use this as a basis and yeah maybe bring all spots a bit more out uh, and just select the uh, uh, spots of our mid and back truss and adjust their tilt value to bring them maybe out like yeah like this this looks good so let us also store this one with the override command and that's it we're basically good to go and uh, can move on to the macros in the macro section of the corresponding fixture category, simply hit this uh, main auto positioning uh, macro, which will then trigger all the uh, other individual ones. After this, you can directly move back to the uh, preset area. And as you can see, we have now recreated those seven missing presets. Um, those new presets are now some kind of variation of the first two with some applied fanning and there are also some crossed variants of the first two presets, as you can see right here. This is done by simply applying some uh, manipulations of the pen uh, together with uh, some alignment and some matrix settings in those macros. For sure, all those looks are uh, only some basic starting points um, for your show, and you can also simply adapt all those macros. That is why we have set them up line by line so that you can see the syntax and easily edit them. As you can see, they're just taking a group, setting some alignment and matrix selections, and after this, uh, manipulating uh, the corresponding pen value. For sure, you can uh, edit them or copy them and build some new ones. And we will probably also uh, add more of them in the future to give you some kind of uh, quick positioning library with those macros. For the end of this video, we want to show you some features related to the hardware, so the button and fader layout of our show file, as we also did some minor improvements here uh, within this new version. So first, let us have a look at our X key section, uh, which is present in the show file. Please note that we have just added this X key view here in this layout section uh, to show you the function. So it's not uh, normally present here at this place in the show file. One important function that can be found in the X key area is the setup of our master time. Therefore, you will find uh, four different macros which allow you to set the global fade time of the show file between a value of zero and five seconds. For example, if you hit uh, the macro for zero seconds, all the transitions in the show file will take place with a fade uh, time of zero seconds. So for example, a color change or also the change of a position. Below this timing section, you will find now two macros which will allow you to easily switch the views between show layout A and show layout B also with your hardware uh, buttons. On the left half section of the X keys, you will find uh, macros that influence your FX. So on this uh, top right uh, corner here, you can find a macro which is called master FX off. And this will deactivate all running FX. So if you have uh, several FX running and you hit this, all the FX will stop. And this is for sure also taking care of the uh, fade time that you have set here. So you can simply really kill all your FX. Below this, there's an extra macro which allows you to kill all gobo rotations which are set in the show file. So probably there are some times where you want to hit uh, them both together at the same time. The remaining four macros of your X key section are there to pause and restart running FX. We call this break and release. So for example, if you have a running uh, circle FX uh, on your spots, you can simply break this 
with a corresponding fade time so they are also reacting to the to those times and afterwards release this running fx so this is the main difference uh, in comparison to the master fx off macro which will really deactivate all this fx and just to notice um, you can also change the fx behavior during a break so you can select different fx and afterwards hit the release which will then result in a different fx look this might be really handy if you want to change the FX, for example, during a break in a song. Those left versions of the break and release macros are there um, to always give you a really hard hit. So they are ignoring those times and will always uh, use a fade time of zero seconds. For sure, you can also combine a hard hit, uh, a hard break with a soft release. So just use them as you feel. With this little overview on our X key section, we want to finish this video. We hope that you've enjoyed it and that you can test our new features directly. More videos and updates from us will follow soon. So if you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot and see you soon.